It's going to change the way we're going to look at things. And I'm going to quickly show it to you. This is it. Might not look a lot, but this is it. We're the body that arbitrates on tall building heights and sets the title of the world's tallest. Last year, we introduced a new term, but there are about another 20 currently under construction, greater than 600 meters, twice the, tall, twice the height of the shard.
What's significant about Alter Rope is that it's going to revolutionise how tall buildings are going to be. It's going to revolutionise the height of the buildings. All of a sudden, a kilometre high buildings not only uh, become uh, the thing of dreams, they become a thing of reality. And not only that, they become common as well. You know, we're so used to dreaming up these kind of really tall buildings, but they've always had impediments along the way. One of the key impediments has been the, the height of lifts. Now, lifts can go a kilometre high. I mean, imagine that. Buildings get taller and taller and taller. And for anyone that, uh, I'm a self-confessed hipsophile, which is the word which I've just learned, means the lover of tallness and height. This is, gonna, this is an amazing news. It'll revolutionise it. I mean, there aren't, there, I mean, architectural industry and technology have had various kind of technological changes over time. Nothing is as significant within the skyscraper industry as this for several decades. I mean, speaking as an architectural historian and a, and a critic, tall buildings and skyscrapers are the one thing that gets everyone either for or against. It really gets all the, the comments going. And I think, you know, this is going to revolutionise, I think, how we talk about them and how we talk about tall buildings. Because they're going to become much more common at a height we have never experienced before. I'm incredibly excited about this new technology. I think it's the single biggest breakthrough in the elevator industry since the advent of the safety elevator 150 years ago. It's going to enable more efficient, higher buildings in the places that warrant those buildings, but it's going to result in better energy efficiency in all tall buildings around the world. Well, uh, many of the countries that are competing to build super tall and what, and, and what we at the Council on Tall Buildings and Urban Habitat call mega tall buildings, which is those buildings 600 metres and above, which inc incident, interestingly there's only two of them in the world right now, though there are many under construction. Those countries, predominantly in Asia and the Middle East and developing countries, I think it will allow them to uh, more efficiently make that push for height. But I really think it's the benefits in terms of the internal workings of the building and the, and the energy and the efficiency, which might not necessarily have an impact on the skyline of London or other places, at the apparent external impact, but the internal impact and the greater impact of us moving towards a more sustainable lifestyle, that's where you're going to see the benefit of this technology. Connect uh, Ultra Rope is revolutionary technology that takes the weight out of the rope that will dramatically decrease the weight of moving masses. Moving masses can be reduced by uh, roughly 45% if you are looking at a high-rise building of about 400 meters, by 60% if you look at high-rise buildings of 500 meters. Uh, that has a tremendous impact on the energy consumption. Uh, we have done a very uh, extent testing on the ultra rope. Uh, getting the shape was actually a very small part, but uh, testing to make sure that it was reliable and uh, that the properties are right, uh, that took a long time. We've tested it, for example, in our Tituri test shaft in Finland, which is the, by far the tallest test shaft in the world. Uh, with 333 meters, it is extremely long. We have tested it regularly uh, at high speed, uh, for example, at 15 meters per second even. Uh, that's four floors per second. Uh, we've done tests uh, in our test labs uh, for, uh, for the lifetime bending tests. Uh, we have uh, done friction testing. We have done uh, testing with uh, different temperatures. We have done aging testing to make sure that, uh, that the properties uh, remain well. Uh, we've done strength tests. Uh, you just name it, we have done it.